Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Okay, so when we last left off in the last video, we were doing the registration form. So in this video, we're gonna focus on the login form. And so um, this shouldn't take long because the login form is gonna take the same styling as the registration form that we created uh, previously or in the previous video. So everything is gonna plus minus stay the same, except we're gonna remove certain elements like the first name, last name, the confirm field. And the only thing we're gonna keep is the email and password field, and then change that from register to login, change that from sign in to sign up, and that can stay the same. Okay, so for that to work, uh, let's first start off by creating a login form page. So it's login.html. Sorry, I have the caps lock on. Okay, so what we can do is we can basically practically copy everything that we did within here. So let's just say copy all. Um, if you were not following along from the previous video, um, just check that out. Or, but in any case, we'll go through everything that uh, we did. So I'm going to paste it within the login form. So the first thing we change is log in, uh, register to log in. And then let's just change the registration part there to log in, uh, login card. Uh, let's also change change that. Uh, move down to the last bottom one and say uh, login, the login form card. Okay. Um, by the way, is you, uh, like I showed you in the previous video, when you highlight an item, like how I did there and then click on control D on your keyboard. It'll jump to the next item that has the exact same name. Um, and, and then that allows you to simultaneously uh, make changes to the same, to multiple elements at the same time. So that's how I changed the registration form to login. Okay, um, what else? Okay, here it needs to change to login. And then here we can change to, instead of edit, we're gonna say FA, um, I want user, uh, I want to use, uh, let's try circle and see if it will show. All right, and like I said, we're gonna remove certain elements within the login form, or yeah, let's change the form itself here again. Registration form. All right, and then what else? Uh, we're gonna change that class name to login form. And then, Right, from, so if you remember, we had the name and first name in, within the same row aligned with each other. So we can remove all of that starting from the row, from the end row and then up to there. Okay. And then we can leave the email and then what else? So the password field is in the, is in a row itself. So let's copy or let's cut that out there. And then let's delete everything starting from end of row up until where it says row there. Right, so we only need two fields here, the login for, I mean, the email and the password. Uh, let me just indent this. So the naming can stay the same as it was in the registration form. Um, here, we're gonna change this from uh, don't have an account and then change this to sign up, right? And then the button here within the form is gonna change to log in, right? And then what else? Uh, this can stay the same and I think that's all the changes we needed to make uh, the background is going to stay transparent um, and that's it so let's just go to um, the page and then we can say oh by the way I still have my server running um, um, so that is why um, if you're wondering um, I, uh, all the changes I make they're going to automatically change uh, once I save so I'm going to say login And um, as you can see, um, there's our login form. Uh, we have the login button, I mean, email, password, and the login button there. All right, so now what we need to do, I just wanna uh, change the sizing of this to be about four columns. Uh, that's too long, it doesn't need to be that long. Um, okay, so here where it says column, we remember in the registration form, we set it to six columns. Here we're gonna change it to about four columns. Sorry about that. Just say four columns up here and then save. All right. If you come back, uh, that should be fine. It's still a bit long, uh, in my opinion, but 
uh, this should be fine. So um, we have the, the, the overall um, uh, styling setup. And if you click here, it goes to uh, the registration page. I mean, the, back, uh, the, the landing page. Uh, we still need to link that button there. So we can just come back to the index page uh, down here and just say login.html and save. And then if you come back here, it should take us to the login page. And then when we go back, we can go register and so forth. So now we can link these items here. So if we come to the registration page, uh, don't forget that uh, we can, uh, let me see. Oh yeah, we needed to add this and change it to a um, to an anchor tag, right? So we can say, what is this? This is the registration page. So we say log in dot html right and then we need to give it a class of btn btn uh, sm and then the text will change to white right uh, let's just paste back that uh, sign in um, uh, name there uh, let's come back here Sorry, it's not supposed to be white. It's supposed to be warning. Sorry about that. So the text um, is supposed to be that. So let's change the uh, let's change the span tag to the text uh, color to warning. Sorry. Okay. So if we come back, why is it not changing text? Text. Oh, sorry, I forgot to remove that text white color there. All right, save. And then if you come back, it should be changed to that um, uh, warning color, which is a yellowish color. And then here, when you click on it, as you saw, when you click on it, it takes us to the login page. So now we need to do the same on the login side. So if you come into the login page, um, we just need to change. Uh, let's take what we did here. Uh, let's just copy that. Uh, copy, we're copying this from the registration uh, page, right? And then um, let's just remove that, paste it there. So we change that to up. And then this obviously will be registration form, uh, register.html, right? So save that, come back here. So we got sign up then takes us to the registration page and then we say sign in takes us to the login page and then both pages have the back button and go to register also the same thing all right so that's the login page um uh yeah it was short, short and quick um like i said it wasn't going to take long due to the fact that we're going to uh, we were going to take the same styling so but the rest of the stuff um uh, the name is password, that's fine. The email name is, uh, the name for the email is also email. So it's gonna stay the same. That's what we're gonna use to authenticate. So yeah, everything should be fine. But when we get to start working with JSPs, these links are gonna change because we're gonna use uh, controllers to set up our routes. And so we're gonna use those route names over here. So for now we can just add these, um, but they will have the same functionality once we set up this on our on our JSP files, uh, when we start uh, converting everything, when we move over, migrate everything to um, to to um, what you call it to Intel uh, IntelliJ. All right, so I think that should be it for the for the what you call it for the login page. Um, uh, all the other stuff will be done within uh, IntelliJ when we once uh, once we work with uh, with uh, what you call it JSPs. All right, guys. So let me stop rambling. Um, that's it for the video. Um, like I said, if you haven't uh, done so already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you guys uh, within the next video. All right, cheers for now.